In today's video, we're going to be cracking open a collector box of Commander Masters, which is very small now, by the way, especially compared to other collector boxes. But this is a pretty pricey product with some potential for good hits and potential for not. Let's see if luck is on our side in today's video. All right, thanks so much everybody for checking out the video, and if you are new here, please hit the like button and subscribe. Click the bell icon if you want to stay notified for all future updates of the video, and tomorrow we will be going live at 11.30 to talk about the actual, uh, you know, day one prices for this set as it's officially on the market, so if you want to stay tuned for that, 11.30 Eastern tomorrow, you can catch that there. Now, we're going to jump into this box. I'm going to try to take my time with it a bit just because it is like a pretty pricey product, so I think this is probably going to be a one and done in terms of what I'm opening, and I honestly... I got this from my local game shop actually at a little bit of a discounted price, uh, which was really nice of them to do. Um, but still, even with a discounted price, it's not, um, you know, it's not really good. So we'll, we'll put $200 up as the actual, let's say, value of it, if you will. Um, I did a video for Double Masters 2022 last year. These come with four packs, I hope. Okay, got a little nervous. Four packs. There are potential for good hits. There are um, textured foil. There are plenty of other things, um, including foil etched. Every one of these packs is guaranteed to have a foil etched, and they're only available in these, so there's certainly some, you know, potentially cool hits. But, again, it's so much of it's going to come down to luck, and we're going to just take a look. I mean, these are just pricey boosters. That's just no other way to look at it, right? So let's, uh, let's see if luck is on our side today. Uh, so we're gonna start us off here with Renowned Weaponsmith. Let me know in the comments down below which pack you guys think is gonna be the best one. So one, two, three, or four. Um, we'll see who was right at the end. Prophetic Prism. Carrier Thrall. Kozilex Predator. Kirtar's Wrath. Valduk, Keeper of Flame. And then, oh, we do get to the absolutely beautiful retro frame style land i have to say these are these are gorgeous gorgeous cards holy crap no complaints there and then we start off with shirei shizo's caretaker a profile art nice i believe there's four borderless path of ancestry that looks pretty cool not a card i personally play a lot Ooh, the foil elvish mystic is a gorgeous gorgeous card and then we get to Micaeus the Unhallowed, a foil mythic. Not bad to start us off here. This is a good card. It's been reprinted plenty of times, but... Uh, Mizzix of the Ismagnus is our first foil etch. Not the best. Uh, Nyxborn Behemoth, actually from the Commander decks. And then Champion's Helm Borderless. And Azami Lady of Scrolls. I don't think this is a great hit. I think, uh, I think Micaeus is definitely good. Uh, the Nyxborn thing has potential. I'm not sure what it's actually worth, but you guys will have seen the value up on the screen there. Definitely like it. Um, I could probably find a place to slot them in. And these are from the Commander decks, of course. And then Champion's Helm, I think, is pretty good as well. Whether or not it stays that high remains to be seen, but not a horrible first pack. I have to say, I wish the... Foil etched would have been a little bit better. Uh, so we'll go with pack three next. If you guys have had a chance to open this set and have your own thoughts, let me know what you know what your pulls have looked like and how you guys have done. Because it's, it's obviously a cool product. Just definitely pretty steep price-wise. And I know people have their, uh, their feelings about it. So we've got Vizier of the Tumbling Sands, Snakeskin Veil, another Prismatic Lens, Ancestral Blade, Phyrexian Ingester. She's got something going on there. Tigum Sidisi's Hand. And then, God, these are just beautiful, man. These are wild. All right, Reality Shift. Can I get a Soul Ring, please? Kodama's Reach. Nice. I'm happy about that. I love that art so much. Uh, Exsanguinate's a great one. That's a great hit. And I actually forgot this was an alt in here. Nice. All right, Safara Sky's Blade is our first rare. That's a foil. Training Center Foil Etch. That's a beauty right there. Look at that. Love that style on that card. Ob Obtruse Archaic. Foil Extended Art. Nice. Marin of Clan Nel Toth. And I think that would have been the last... No, I was wrong. Foil Insurrection. Nice. Okay. I don't know what determines that last, um, that last Mythic spot. Or how exactly that goes. I thought it was a profile art. But okay. Foil Mythic, which means we're probably not going to get a Jeweled Lotus in here, sadly. 
Um, Obtruse Archaic and then Training Center is a beauty. Really, really nice etched uh, card. I do love that a lot. And uh, you know what? Just because I'm feeling generous today, we're going to toss a sleeve on the Exsanguinate as well. It's a pretty good card. Good game finisher. Just a really nice artwork too. Okay. I don't think the uh, the Safara is going to be worth all that much really. But these are Mizzix. Watch, I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure Mizzix is not worth anything. <laughs> all right. Pack number four. I'm, I'm, putting, I'm holding out hope, guys. I'm holding out hope. We're only halfway through. It's just... It's a pretty small box. So, let's see. Will this one turn our luck around? Ash Barons. Dark Steel Ingot. Crozan Tusker. Tragic Slip. Pretty good card. Pathraiser of Ulamog Foil. I think it's a good hit, actually. I did a video yesterday talking about this. This is a pretty, pretty highly sold, uh, highly sought after card. Uh, Nomada Grove Guardian. Foil Mountain. Just an absolute beauty. Command Sphere. Nice, nice. I like it. Vandal Blast is another really good one. I'll take it. Another command sphere. This one's foil. Okay. Don't love the double up, but it's all right. Stonehoof Chieftain. Oh, there are some bad rares in here. We do that. Crater Hoof Foil Etched, baby. Let's go. That's a big hit and a great, great hit. Look at that guy. Wowza. What a beauty. I got to sleeve that. Ugin's Mastery. Uh, Urza. It's not textured, right? No. And then. Tooth and Nail. Okay. Much better pack, though. That Crater Hoof is a big hitter. Let's roll. Check that guy out, dude. Whoo! Sexy. Crater Hoof Behemoth. And then we've got Urza. Not bad. He looks pretty distinguished over there. I don't think the uh, Vandal Black... I think this is a good card. I don't think it's worth a ton, but it's been reprinted before. Tooth and Nail... I'm honestly not sure, but I'm probably just going to sleep it up anyway. If I'm wrong, I'll fix it later. Not bad. All right. One pack left. That Crater Hoof is around $50 right now, so definitely a solid uh, solid addition to the pile. Uh, but let's see if we can't get something crazy for this last pack here. Three-Bit Inspector, Dragon Fodder, Rot Shambler, Letter of Acceptance, Hunter's Insight, Heartless Act, and then, whoo, just a beauty. Just a beauty, man. Nice. Thran Dynamo, Thrawn Dynamo, whatever you want to call it. Frantic Search, a good card. Not really what we're looking for. What's with the double ups, Wizards? Come on, man. And we've got, all right, Marin of Clan Neltoth. Definitely not the card you're hoping to see. Commandeer, Foil Etch, just pretty good. Not too shabby. And then we've got Enichthia, Hand of Erebos. This is the commander of the enchantment deck. Pure Steel Paladin, a beauty right there, man. And finally, Deflecting Swat Foil. Coming through in the end here, man, with a beauty on the uh, on the end of it. So not too shabby at all. Check that out. A Foil Deflecting Swat, and I think the Foil Edge Commandeer is pretty good, too. We're going to we're gonna sleeve that bad boy up. I don't know if the Commanders are actually worth anything, the, uh, the Anixthia, so... Not too bad. I think this actually ended up being pretty solid just because of the last couple packs, but hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I definitely had fun opening it. This is a one and done for me. I can't justify spending the kind of money on this set that it would normally cost, um, but we will be doing some single ordering tomorrow, so if you want to check that out, um, you know, definitely stay tuned, and let me know in the comments what you guys think of the set as a whole. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.